Hi, I'm Rod Swift, the Greens candidate for the seat of Gillibrand in the 2013 federal election. And I'm here to explain our suggestion on how you may wish to vote on September 7. Firstly, when it comes to our preference recommendations for the House of Representatives, we haven't done a deal. We're making a recommendation based on principles. Naturally, we're hoping you'd vote for me, Rod Swift, as your first choice. After this, we're recommending voting for the sex party number two, because they're the party most similar to our viewpoints on individual liberties and freedoms. At this point, we're left with making recommendations for political parties that hold quite different priorities and principles. We're recommending Labor third. We don't like their asylum seeker, education cuts or social security policies but they do have some positions in which we agree, like environment, health and employment. Next, we're recommending the Palmer United Party fourth, as they do want to treat refugees better, but have a disappointing pro-coal mining position. We're recommending the Liberal Party fifth, because we cannot agree with their return to hardline policies on refugees and industrial relations. And we put Family First sixth and the Australian Christian seventh because they are the parties that have the most socially conservative policy agendas and they're most different to ours. Of course, it's up to you how you number your ballot paper and we encourage you to vote how you want. Now, voting Greens in the Senate is easy. Just put a one in the box above the line for Group S, the Greens. This vote will directly go to our lead Senate candidate, Janet Rice. And by law, we're required to lodge a preference flow, and you can find full details at the AEC's website under Group Voting Tickets. And in the unlikely event of the voters not electing Janet Rice to the Senate, your vote for the Greens will then pass through a number of like-minded progressive parties before getting to the Labor Party. But if you want, you can choose to number all 97 boxes below the line to express your choice. So that's our recommendation if you're considering voting Greens in Gellibrand.